I have no idea what I want to talk about today. So, it's been over a month since I've last made a video. Not that anyone is watching, but I still want to talk about something. Anything, really. Hmm. What should I talk about? I should really find some that'll get people's attention somehow. Guess who's back? Oh god, I thought I put you in the furnace last week. Whatever blows your hair back. Why are you here? I've been thinking. Standing around is really not my thing. It can't be. Please. Not again. Somebody dial 911! Oh god. This is Bubsy the Bobcat, a character created in the 90s by a man named Michael Berlin, who is best known for his work on text-based games such as Keep the Thief and Task Times at Town. Now yeah, we thought he could make this... thing work is beyond me. Hey, buddy! Anyways, I should mention that I have dealt with this Bobcat before. Well, not me, but my real-life counterpart. Wonder what he's been up to these days. I, uh, can I have 27 Big Macs? Sir, this is a soul bowl. Oh, well, I guess I should start talking about the game itself. Bubsy and Claw's Encounter of the Third Kind. Wow, what a unique title. I wonder how they came up with it. Note my sarcasm. Now I will admit, the cover art does look nice. Even though I see something else on that cover that I'll get to later. Other than that, the only other thing to look at is this from the Consumer Electronics Show. That is disgusting. And the manual itself. And honestly, I'll be damned. This is a pretty good manual. Except for one thing. There's no instructions included on how to play, so can you really call this a manual if you don't include instructions? All that's really here is a really good comic, and that serves as the prologue to the game itself. And the story itself is pretty simple. Bubsy has yarn, an alien race called the Wooly steal the yarn, and now Bubsy must get the yarn back. You think this has a happy ending? Then you're right! Maybe for you, but I actually have to play this thing. Ah, thanks. No, really, thank you for playing my game. Well, I guess the best question now is what system I'm going to be playing this on. And honestly, I came down to one decision. I'm going to be playing Bubsy on an emulator while using my Sega Genesis controller to play the game itself. If you ask me about the legality of emulating this game, just remember that Bubsy in of itself is a crime against humanity. So in this case, true wrongs will make a right. For once. Now... Let me get this out of the way. This is not a bad looking game, especially since it came out in 1992, I think it's pretty impressive. But just because it's a good looking game doesn't mean the game itself is good. You see, I was figuring out the controls when suddenly I began running faster than Sonic and died on the first enemy. Even though I jumped. And you see how many lives I'm given right off the bat? Expect that to go down way faster than water going down a drain. Actually, now that I think about it, why is it nine lives? Is it because Bubsy's technically a cat and cats have nine lives? Either that, or the developers know this game is bullshit. I'm not surprised. Usually the first level is considered the easiest. I mean, it took me three whole tries just to get to level two. Now, that may not sound like much of a big deal, but really. You gotta trust me on this. When I lost all my lives, there were no continues. Instead, it just brought me back to the beginning. But how did I even get a game over in the first place? Am I just bad at the game? Well, probably, but not for the reasons you expect. Let's go over the game's problems one by one, starting with the camera. You see, most of the reasons I died was due to not being able to see what was up ahead. Or above me. Or below me. So, apparently, and you're not going to believe this, <laughs> there is a way to see what's above and below you. But not only is this completely useless since it doesn't help you see what's in front of you, but you also have to go out of your way just holding the up or down arrow to wait for the camera to move in the direction. Why didn't they just make the screen smaller? 
Here's a pro tip. Suck less. I wish I could. In all honesty, I really do wish I could suck less at this game. I mean, I only made it to the first boss once after I finished recording my footage, but every single time I made it, I just died. Now let me be perfectly clear. This game is really hard. Harder than it should be. And it just made it less fun. But other games that are hard can still be fun. Case in point, Mega Man from the NES. While Mega Man is a hard game, but it's also a fair one. They have the camera zoomed out so you can see what's up ahead, so you can have a good reaction time, and the controls are tight enough so that if you mess up, it's not the game's fault, but it's yours. Sure, there's some trial and error, but that's far and few in between. I also think that the game is very rewarding. Mega Man beats a boss and now that you've beaten him, you have a new power that can change the way you play the game and the next stage. That's not only rewarding, but it also gives you more options to defeat enemies and even the bosses. That's fun! But what do I get out of Bubsy? He has no additional powers aside from one invincibility shirt. I hit the same enemies over and over and I feel nothing from it. This game is just... It's just horrible. There. I reviewed your damn game, Bubsy. Are you happy now? Uh... Bubsy? Uh, hello? Have I been talking to myself this whole time? Oh, oh yeah, I, I think I said I needed to go back to the cover a bit earlier. I forgot why not, but eh, I'll take a look. Um... Uh, something tells me there's gonna be a sequel. How the hell did I get this job? All I asked for was for Big Macs. 